Hey guys, welcome back. Mubarak here again of Crypto Theory and in Penny Stock. I want to teach you guys in this video how to understand different cryptocurrencies and the different metrics or different numbers that you kind of keep should pay attention to in order to be a profitable crypto trader. All right, again, this course is meant for anybody of any level of skill, regardless of your background or experience. So I'm going to assume that you guys have no experience about what's going on in this screen, what all this means. And it's okay, you know, even if you do know, even if you've traded and made profits in the past, I want to give you guys a refresher and really talk about what's important and what's not. All right, so again, this website is coinmarketcap.com a great resource. I'm going to be providing a couple of other different resources uh, as we go along the course for you guys to keep an eye on uh, the cryptocurrencies, the altcoins, and what really is important to um, keep your eye on. Also, this has a uh, mobile app, iPhone app, Android app, so I definitely recommend uh, buying it so that, I mean, sorry, it's free, installing it on your phone so you can just keep track of it as you go on. So, all right, let's focus on the screen now. So, what we can see here is at the current time of this recording there's 1465 this is how many different altcoins there are all right different types of coins different types of tokens you know and every day there's probably a few coming out every week there's like five or ten um, and that number is probably just going to increase as time goes on the market cap is pretty much how much money people have invested so far into cryptocurrency so you can see 544 billion no sorry is this uh, millions, yeah, billion dollars invested in cryptocurrency. And just in the last 24 hours, $30 billion worth of US, $30 billion worth of cryptocurrencies were exchanged, bought and sold. Um, and so that's pretty crazy. So here, these are pretty important to the metrics that you need to take a look at. Um, crypto market sorts it by, um, sorry, coin market cap sorts it by the most popular and the most heavily invested in altcoins so you can see obviously bitcoin is on top ethereum is second ripple is third which is uh, new actually ripple i uh, was competing with with litecoin i believe a, a few weeks ago and then it just shot up and so really it's important you can see the circulating supply um this is because every or most of these altcoins they have something called a white paper which i'm going to explain in another video and i'll show you guys how to read it but Essentially, just a quick high-level overview, their white paper outlines what the coin is meant to do, right? So it's almost their mission statement. It's almost their underlying technology and the reason why they created that cryptocurrency in the first place, okay? So um, in that plan that they set up within the white paper, usually they outline how many of this, you know, altcoin or cryptocurrency is going to be in supply. And then as you have miners coming in that increases the supply but generally speaking the only real numbers from a trading perspective and that's what we're focusing on this course to look at is amount of volume being traded because if there's a lot of volume being traded and bought and sold right in in different cryptocurrencies that's where you can automatically know that something is about to happen that something is is going on there's a hype a lot of people are buying and selling it right that's like the most popular restaurant the line out the door so Bitcoin and Ethereum obviously these are the most two popular ones but for example right here I can tell you that there's probably some interesting things going on with tether right here because of the amount of volume being traded in the last 24 hours volume is literally the amount that people buy and sell how much of this cryptocurrency is being bought and sold in the last 24 hours so you can probably take a look at you know volume is a huge metric and it's important because there's gonna be a lot of altcoins here right but if you see some of these smaller ones when only two hundred fifty thousand dollars and that's still a good amount it's funny because in the stock market you're gonna have even less volume traded on certain penny stocks but in general let's focus on this when the volume is a little low that means people aren't really buying and selling it too much. And what that means is that you have to be a bit more careful because it's possible when the volume is super tiny that if you are to buy this cryptocurrency that you might have trouble selling it. Because if not, if this, so think about it conceptually. When the volume is low, that means people are not buying a lot, people are not selling a lot. It's very slow trading, almost like you know, think about one house, right? It's very slow. One house, 
might not be traded often. But if it's low, you might have trouble even if you buy it and you think it's a good investment. Always keep an eye on the volume because if the volume is low, there's a lower chance of someone buying it off of you because there's two sides to the trade, right? First you buy it, hopefully then you make your profit and then you sell and you lock in those profits or those gains. All right, that's the whole game here. And, you know, a lot of the times I'm going back to some very simple ideas, but again, I want to make this a very welcoming intro level course and we'll get more advanced as time goes on. But the whole point of this trading is to buy it low, sell it high. And that's kind of the fundamentals of how you are going to make money with crypto. So you want to make sure overall that the volume is high. And yeah, I mean, I think that's probably one of the best things. That's one of the focal points I wanted to cover in this video. Um, we're going to be talking more about how to find the best altcoins to trade, more about how you can even get started trading and set up your accounts. Um, so that's what we're going to talk about in future videos. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.